hello YouTube viewers, my audience, I appreciate you. Um, just an update on my F-150, um, currently with 42,000 miles, and as you previously known and seen, that this is the leased vehicle I leased it um, almost three years ago. It's coming up soon uh, for a return. Well, I decided that I really like this truck and I decided to keep it. This thing has been treating me well, very well, comfortable. I have kept it in pristine condition, as you can see. Um, got it loaded up with a, a heater and a coil. Got me uh, my scooter still sitting here. Tire for my Lexus RCF sitting over there. Um, this video is about the F-150. There it is. Pain looks good. The only biggest scratch in three years that I got was this one, and I just got it like two days ago. Um, right now, I wanted to show you a video of how to easily clean this STX grill. You know, I haven't cleaned this grill in three years, and now since the truck is going to be mine, I. Um, would like to I guess take care of it more because now I know for sure it will be mine when it was leased I didn't want to do much to it because I didn't know if I was going to return it or not so I just got a little antenna for it and uh, pretty much tinted windows not much that I did with it so the best way to clean your grill just to take a rag and I have already started on it so you just take it and just each individual piece it's actually better to do it at night because with the flashlight you can see the actual dirt that you're missing compared to like if it was on the sunlight compared to if it was on the sunlight so I have been at it for about 10 minutes so far probably got a quarter of it done so just take a shirt old used shirt put some water on it Put a finger in there, scrape it, clean it, do whatever you want to do with it. If you're good with your fingers, if you're not, then this is your uh, chance to learn how to use your fingers. Well, if you know what I mean. There we go. Well, there goes it. The car, your truck currently has uh, 42, 40, almost 43,000 miles original tires. Really, the only issue I had with it is my blinker that's uh, blinking fast when I turn left. But um, I read the forums. I actually just joined the F-150 group on Facebook. So if you guys are not up on that, go ahead and join them. They have a lot of tips. There's a lot of people in that group. I think about 90,000. So... You get a lot of different opinions uh, from very many different people on the truck. They said if your blinker blinks fast inside, but it doesn't on the outside, it's possibly uh, your both turn signal bulbs. They're both right? there's two of them. So if you change one and it still does it, try to change the other one. Um, for my next video, I know it's been out already probably, but I don't just found out uh, I'm a really good way how to disable the start and stop. Uh, and I'll be showing it to you in my next video. So stay tuned um, and subscribe and like the videos. Um, the, I know the one way was to put a brake trailer uh, plug right there to eliminate the thing, but I don't think it will look good. And when you get some lights on the dash. Um, here, let's check out the, um, how the interior is held up. Oh, yeah. So, 
due to the controversial mileage issue that we were all having in my previous videos from years ago let's see what we have right now engine idle hours 1800 engine hours engine idle hours 7 to 50 Display mode trip fuel. Yeah, you see, I'm only getting 15.4. 15.4. average. Yeah. 42,000 miles. Due for transmission change, for a transmission fluid change. Actually, looked it up. Uh, there's a video online how to do it on the 2.7. The guy said it's not that easy since I don't have a shop. I probably will have to take it in and pay somebody to do it, but it's, it's not a big deal. I just they're just making this truck so hard to service, it's just ridiculous. I like almost thinking about just returning it so I don't have to go through the whole transmission. Uh, service things you have to unbolt the coolers uh, on the 5.0 you have to unbolt the not the down pipes there's the exhaust one of the exhaust manifold that goes from header to header uh, you have to unbolt that you have to unbolt the motor mount on the 5.0 and lift the tranny up off of the I think it's one of the supports of the cross members uh, yeah, I don't know anybody saw how I look like, but there we go. That's me, the Garage 650. Hello, everybody. Um, I actually just started getting into uh, cinematography more. I got a drone, and I'll be uh, take, doing more videos with the drone and stuff. I already uh, edited a few, so uh, I might. They actually are uploaded on the channel, so you guys want to go in and check them out. Um, my channel is like about making useful videos, how to fix stuff. It's not just showing off over here is what I have. I more of doing the reviews, real life reviews of what I actually do and what I have and what I do with the vehicles. Um, so thank you so much for watching. You guys have a good one. Bye bye.